Hello everybody. In this session, I'm going to talk about the modularity of RISC-V instruction set architecture. So what is a modular ISA? I'm going to explain this with the help of an imaginary processor and its instruction set architecture. Let's think of an imaginary processor M and its ISA as M ISA. So the M ISA is so distinct that the instructions are grouped into a set of instructions, each set for a specific function. Let's say that set one covers the basic instructions like the load store, arithmetic and the execution control instructions like a conditional and unconditional jump. Whereas set two covers the multiplication and division instructions and set three covers the floating point instructions. Now to make a processor M for a specific application which does not use this multiplication division instructions, you are free to get rid of this instruction set. Okay, so this is what a modular ISA is. So in modular ISA, so you are free to pick and choose the set of instructions whichever the application has to use. Okay, now let's see how this concept applies to RISC-V ISA. Okay, so in RISC-V, the ISA naming convention is like this. So the RV stands for RISC-V followed by the width of the address and this uh, sets are called as instruction set extensions and each instruction set extension is attached with an English alphabet okay so I stands for integer and M stands for multiplication and division F stands for single precision floating point instructions and D stands for double precision floating point instructions and again, so this is a 64i where here 64 is the address width. So in risk 5 so this is the basic instruction set extension, which every core has to implement to be compatible with the risk 5 and these uh, additional or optional extensions, uh, you are free to implement based on your need. Okay, so this is how the modularity applies to risk 5 so for example if a core says uh, its isa is rv32 imd that means that the core supports uh, integer and uh, multiplication and division instructions and a double precision floating point instructions okay so in this basic uh, instruction set you see another variant as e which stands for embedded uh, so basically it's for embedded uh, so the only difference between the i variant and e variant is that so the e variant has 16 general purpose registers whereas the i variant has 32 general purpose registers so that's the modularity of risk 5 isa